Let's work on our last piece of the puzzle today, uh, where I want to focus on network connectivity in the UCS towards blades. Now what that means is what we're talking about now was the fabric interconnect with its LAN uplinks, port channels and disjoint layer 2. Uh, we talked about the fabric extenders from the fabric interconnect going down to the UCS. And what I want to focus on now is the connection from the fabric extender to the blade. So when we grab our fabric interconnect, we have our FEX. And then behind that, we have our eight blades. I will draw four in this case. So we have an, a fabric interconnect. We have a fabric extender and we have blades. Now, like I said, I have a couple uplinks here. These are external connections. So these are twin X cables, right? So these are physical cables. Now, remember what this is using internally, because I have some internal ports as well here. And these internal ports, each port connects to a blade. Right, so I have an internal port 1, 2, 3, and 4. If I check that on CLI, I see that as well. Show interface brief shows me those internal ports going down to blades. So I have four blades in my system. That means that I have four different client ports here on the uh, fabric interconnect. And remember what this is doing, this connection, how will the fabric interconnect know the difference if traffic came from port one, two, three, or four, because the configuration of this port is in the parent switch. So how will it know that traffic is being pinned to an uplink, send across, and here that configuration is monitored for port two, the other uplink is chosen, configuration is kept here. My I.O. module is the, the, the old-fashioned 2104. In the lab, this will be a 2204 or 2208. I'll come back to the differences in just a minute. Uh, for the lab, it's not that important. I just want to highlight a little bit about the change. I have a 2104, so the only difference that I have with the lab is that I cannot do this port channeling. But that's okay. But what I want to say here, the technology here to distinct traffic coming from port one internally all the way up to the fabric interconnect, because that's that interface E1 slash 1 slash 1, right? This is called VN tagging, what we were, what we were talking about uh, during the fabric extension lab. We run that special type of tagging on the traffic to distinct the traffic from the port. So we take the Ethernet frame, um, we add a VLAN header, that's just what the, what this blade is doing, right? This blade is sending me uh, 802.1Q traffic with different VLANs coming from VMware. And then in front of that, I place my VN tag to transport it across the uplink between the FI and the FEX. So this is the first step. <clears throat> now, inside the blade, I have a few options to, when it comes down to the network interface card. Also on the UCS blueprint or on the data center blueprint, you will see that you will have to do with two types of cards. We have what's called a Menlo card and a Palo card. The difference is very clear. The Palo card is made by Cisco and the Menlo card is made by a third party. Like Emulex and the one that they're using in the lab is Emulex. It doesn't matter in terms of technology what kind of vendor delivered that, but it means that a third party delivered the network interface card here in the server. They call this the mezzanine slot. So in each of the servers, 
I have a specific slot called the mezzanine slot. And in that slot, I fit a network interface card. Actually, in the more recent versions of the blades, the B203, I can even fit like a Fusion IO card. I have two mezzanine slots then, and then I can fit a Fusion IO card, for example, so to have some local flash in the UCS server. But for our lab, we only focus on that Menlo and the Palo card. Let's first focus on the Menlo card. The Menlo card is made by a third party like QLogic, Emulex, Intel, or anybody else. Anybody else who made that form factor. It's a, spe it's a specific form factor. This Menlo card, what does it do? I have my blade, and in that blade, I have a slot for that card. So I fit that in. That Menlo card is going to be a CNA, a converged network adapter, meaning it will run fiber channel over Ethernet. What this card supports is that it has two 10 gig ports, 10 gig, 10 gig. Those 10 gig ports, one is going to the left to Fabric Interconnect A, the other is going to the right to Fabric Interconnect B. So what is connected here? Of course the FEX and then FIA and FIB. No cross connect, so no crossing, just 10 gig left, 10 gig right, that is my server connectivity. So I have two, what they call VNICs, virtual network interface cards. Actually, these are not virtual, these are just two network interfaces. I have an interface going left and I have an interface going right. That's it. These are configured as switchboard mode trunk. So they of course allow the transport of multiple VLANs. So if I would check the interface configuration of one of those ports, it would say switchboard mode trunk here. So I have one VNIC here and one VNIC there. What I mean with a VNIC is a network card so a VNIC is a network card on the PCI bus of the server. So when taking a look, when taking a look at the PCI bus, so when, when you're logging into VMware, for example, when I have a Menlo card, I see two NICs on the PCI